Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to the Black Christian Geek. Sorry it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but nevertheless, a client reached out to me and asked about a tool that I'm, I'm going to demonstrate today. Today's tool and tip is Auto Hotkey for Windows. And I'll first try and briefly explain what um, text expansion is or automation. And as you can see in the title uh, on their website, if you go to autohotkey.com is where we'll be downloading the software from. But it says the ultimate automation scripting language for Windows. What does that mean? As a uh, friend and former colleague would say, David K, if you do something more than once, you should automate it or script it. And categorically, that's text expansion. And basically what that means is if you start off with, and i use this as an example, I'm living in the state of Mississippi. So to keep from having to type Mississippi out each time, if you want to use an abbreviation and what we call a special character or a trigger character, I like to use tilde. I can use that to expand that out in, into Mississippi. And hopefully that'll, that'll make sense when we get to the next part. So what, what we're about to do next is I'm going to walk you through the installation of, of Auto Hotkey and I'm going to demonstrate what one of the script files look looks like and how you can edit that file to create your own text expansion to expand virtually any abbreviation that you create into any full text file. So when going to download, I advise using the current version. I've tried to use uh, version two very briefly, but since it's still in beta and it's advised not to use it, we're going to stick with the current version. So download current version. And once the file finished downloading, you just say open file. Yes to install. And I'm just going to use the express. So I'm, I'm not making any special changes. And from this point, I'm just going to say exit. I'm going to minimize the website. And next, what we're going to do is I've already saved one of the files on my OneDrive on the apps, auto hotkey scripts. And here's the trick. <clears throat> this is very important. What I'm about to say, you can use any text editor to edit the script. The script has to have a dot a h k as an auto hotkey extension. I'm using Windows 11. So you come down, show more and make sure you have file extension selected on Windows 10. You just go to view and show file extension to make sure you have that a h k for the auto hotkey. What I'm about to say next is equally as important. To edit the file, again, you can use any text editor. My text editor of choice is Sublime Text, but you don't want to always open that with this because we need it to open with Auto Hotkey in order to execute the script. But we're using, um, I'm using Sublime Text, but you can use Notepad, any text editor to, to edit the file. Here's a quick example file that I created for this tutorial. If you notice the semicolon, this is a simple comment. That's just what you use to comment or to uh, document your, your, your script file. If, if you like documentation to describe maybe what's coming next. The first line is the first text expansion script that I've created. And notice I have a colon, asterisk, colon. What the asterisk between the first set uh, of double colon does is it says, once I type BCG, automatically 
expand out to Black Christian Geek. And of course, the other two dots is what expands after. So you have two colons, whatever you want to use. I'm going to say T, um, I'll say T I T. This T T I A T. This is a test. And use my special character tilde, and I'll explain that again in a minute. Another double quote, uh, colon, and then I say, This is a test. This is only a test. And I can put a smiley face at the end. So I had already created a BCG, and remember with the asterisk, it automatically. Um, expands as soon as I, I I type that G and the same with with, with my name um, RLS my initials to expand out to Richard L. Scott <clears throat> and I have another one to demonstrate multi-line so if you use open and close quote it'll type everything so once you type this word it will expand this complete block of text and I use uh, lastly a mailing uh, address with no asterisk. So I'm saving this file and I'm going to leave that open for now. And this is why it was important to do the open with to expand the file. In order to execute this script, you're going to just double click on it and then it opens with auto hotkey. And if you look down here in the lower right hand corner, you see it has a a little H logo or icon, and that's for auto hotkey. Now, to see the results of that, I go back here, use my Mississippi example. We'll go back and add that later. But if I say T I A T, space nothing happens but if i go back and add that special tilde character so I, t i a t i had to hit the 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 space bar to trigger it but now watch when i say b c g when i hit the g it should automatically expand without me having to press the space bar same with uh my mission so when I say RL is, uh oh, sorry. Soon as I say RL and I hit the S, it automatically expands out. And that's because of the asterisk. So here, when I type this out in a special character, I'm still required to hit the space bar before that expands out. But with the asterisk, and you see where I have God bless and you'll get a chance to see multi lines. But notice because of the asterisk between the first semi, between the first colons, I could just say God bless and it expands out. Are you starting to see how powerful this can be? Please subscribe and share the tip with others. God bless. And note that Regardless of how you type it, it expands out to um, how, how it's typed. And that is just a quick example and the power of, oh, I said I would add the Mississippi just as a bonus. So I say colon, I'm going to say asterisk, colon, and I'm going to say MS. And because I might want to just use MS sometime, I'll add the tilde to say only expand when I use the tilde. And I'll say M I S S I S S I P P I. I save that. And here's another tip. Once you save a change, you have to rerun the script and it'll say, hey, an older instance of the script is already running. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So now that I've replaced it, I can come in here. I'm going to delete all I've typed before. So if I just say MS, enter, it's just MS. But if I say MS and my special character is tilde, you can use whatever you like. It expands out to Mississippi. Now note, here's another important point. You notice when I did capital MS, it expanded out 
to all caps. But if I say MS TOD, it expands out to title cap. And, and likewise, if I say capital M lowercase s TOD, it expands out the title cap. So uh, automatically built in, if if I need it to all uh, to be all caps, I just say MS in all caps TLD, and it expands out into all cap whatever you type. So hopefully you find this to be beneficial. If you do, consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with others. Again, my name is Richard L. Scott, the the Black. Christian Geek, and I really hope this has been uh, beneficial for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.